Prince Charles and Princess Diana announced their separation in 1992, after their relationship encountered a number of difficulties. John Major, who was Prime Minister at the time, announced the news in Parliament and a royal biographer said the report was greeted with concern. The implications of the split was not to be realised for several years to come, but an expert recalls that a Labour MP was adamant the news meant Prince Charles could never ascend the throne. Royal biographer Matthew Dennison has recounted the moment Sir John Major informed the House, on December 9, 1992. In his new book The Queen, he wrote, To a somber House of Commons the Prime Minister announced Charles and Diana's separation. Reflecting royal concern about the constitutional implications of their failed marriage, he added puzzlingly, there is no reason why the Princess of Wales should not be crowned queen in due course. Mr. Denison noted how news of the split was not well received, and prompted speculation that Prince Charles would ditch royal life altogether. He wrote, bookmakers William Hill changed their odds on Charles renouncing the throne from 10 to 1 to 6 to 1. I can't see Prince Charles becoming King Charles, a Labour backbencher told American journalists. Others came to share this opinion after publication six weeks later of transcripts of a compromising and undignified telephone conversation between Charles and Camilla, recorded in 1989. When asked if Charles' place in the line of succession was ever in doubt, Mr. Denison told Express.co.uk the couple's separation certainly sparked a lot of debate in the UK around the world. He said, there was a certain amount of talk about that kind of thing. I was in America shortly after the split was announced and of course the US was very pro-Diana and their view was that Charles was the bad guy in all of this. So there was a lot of talk in America that Charles would never become king but he said that didnt seemed to be the case back home in Britain. He said, I don't think that talk in this country, certainly it wasn't as widespread and certainly it wasn't as serious. Clearly there were worries that popular support for the Prince of Wales had been significantly damaged by the failure of his marriage at the time. Though Charles and Diana separated in 1992, they would not divorce until 1996. In exchange for a generous settlement and the right to retain her apartments at Kensington Palace, Diana agreed to relinquish the title of Her Royal Highness. She was allowed to keep the title of the Princess of Wales, however.